Hi, Ryan. Hi, Ryan. This is Coach Smart from uh, ABC Baseball Camps. And thanks for being part of our hitting analysis program. Um, we're going to go through uh, some of your swings here and talk about um, your setup, your swing plane, where you are at the point of contact, how you get your lower half involved in your swing, and then your finish. And then we'll, at the end we'll give you some drills to do, explain some drills for you to do to help with some of the issues you might have in your swing. Okay, let's talk about your, talk about your setup. Uh, I love what you do with your feet. Your feet are parallel to the home plate. You're a little bit farther than shoulder width apart, so you're nice and athletic in that position. Um, let's go through a little bit here and see where your hands go. I'm going to set up position. Get your legs good. That's good. Okay, let's stop right there. I would like to see that bottom hand be even with your ear hole of your helmet. So I like to see your hands a little bit higher as far as the setup goes. And then uh, where your barrel is, uh, I prefer to have that barrel from a hitting instructor's point of view. I prefer to have that barrel point a little more up. Okay? A little more up. Um, for a young hitter to have that bat wrapped around your helmet is going to make it tougher for you to get and you know try to uh, have a short, compact swing. But let's take a couple looks here and see what we see. Um, other than that, like I said, your setup is pretty good. Okay, let's see what happens when that stride foot hits the ground. Okay, so your stride foot's on the ground. One thing I notice right away, bud, is your uh, is your front foot gets turned a little bit. Try to keep it pointing the same direction as your back foot. Your back foot's straight, and you kind of step to an open position with your with your front foot. We, we want it to look more like your back foot, okay? And from a swing plane status, uh, not too bad, okay? Not too bad. Um, you just have to remember, bud, that let's take you back a little bit. Here's where here's where we want the swing to be level. Okay, from right about there. right about there. That's where we want that swing to be level. Right in there. We don't want it to be level there. Okay? If we have it level there, it's going to take you longer, and actually too long, for you to get back to the contact point as you get older and face, you know, firmer, more velocity kind of kids that throw harder, the type of pitching. If you have a flat swing, it also is a long swing. We want your swing to be flat just through here. Let's see where your swing is. Okay, so your swing, you're in really good shape where it needs to be flat. We just got to do some things to get you so you're not so flat. Or you're not so flat uh, uh, in the in the back in the beginning part of your swing, because that's going to get you in trouble as you get older and start facing tougher pitching. And we'll give you some drill. We'll give you a drill to to work on that a little bit too. Okay. Okay. Let's look at your lower half and how you get that lower half, that critical part of your body involved in your swing. Let's take a close look at what this back knee does, okay? Let's see if it pushes down to the inside of that front foot or not. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad there at all. That knee is driving. Uh, just be curious. Let's see what your back foot does here. Okay, your back foot stays in pretty good shape there. Make sure you don't over over rotate that back foot, but right there you look pretty good. Okay. 
let's go back and get you standing back up again right here. Okay. So Ryan, what we're looking for from hitters is the ability to compress down to hit a baseball. Okay, we're going to put a line right on top of your head. We're going to put another one right as your stride foot hits the ground. Okay, your foot's in the ground. We're going to put another line right here. And we're going to check and see if you leak forward now. Right now, your head should go down a little bit, but not come forward at all. Okay, shouldn't come forward at all as you move towards that baseball with your hands. Okay, you did a good job there, buddy. Very good, Ryan. A um, little... That swing looks pretty good right there. But then that next click, you can see your barrel drop way down. I might be just angle the camera too. Boy, look at that barrel shot, huh? Can you get it more on the barrel or not? I don't think so. Perfect. That's a great job for what we call barrel awareness. Understanding where your barrel is throughout your swing. So you know when you get your hands inside the ball and your hands are outside the ball. That's a really good job right there. Okay. One thing about your lower half, though, we got to make sure we're well aware of is that front foot. Now it's almost pointing forward. Okay, the whole reason why we drive that back knee down, Ryan, to the inside of that front foot, is to create resistance. That resistance, that energy you're creating by driving that knee down to the front side of that front foot, has to be captured against that front leg. And if you let that foot rotate forward towards the pitcher's mound like it is right now, you're going to lose some of that power. You're going to flush that power out the, out the front side. And we want to capture that against the front side. And although that may feel a little uncomfortable, a little weird, if you can stay inside that foot a little better, you're going to be way better off. Okay? So let's look at your finish. Okay, nice tall finish. Very good there. Look at a couple more swings here. We'll just kind of roll through a couple of these. Again, I guess we can't roll through them. Right there. I mean, that's just a great setup right there, bud. But then just watch where those hands go when you start to strike forward. They drop down behind your helmet, and that's going to put you in a way more difficult position to try and hit from, right there. There's that good barrel shot again. I mean, I have a lot of things to like here. That head slot right there, back knee. That back knee in good shape in your lower half. Those are all good things. Your fingernails on your top hand are pointing up. Your bottom hand they're pointing down. So there's some really good things in that swing. Let's see what you do with your finish here. Hands go up and around. Solve as a rock. Ryan, solid the rock, really good, really good. So I only got a couple of drills for you. That I'm gonna have you do. Uh, one's called a dual T drill. You've probably done this drill before. You're like a pretty good hitter, so I'm sure you've done this T with this drill before. Uh, let's get you back into your setup position. Okay. So we take one T and put it right in the front where you normally would put it. That's when the baseball goes on it. Put the second T. Your back here is placed just beyond your back foot and about an inch taller than the front teeth. And then trying to get that swing to come down and miss this tee at down an angle and then get flat and be able to get 
threw that baseball and still hit that next ball. And he had a line drive off a of tee that way. Okay, so we want to remember we want to be our barrel to be flat and level between this line and that line. So between the, the two T's. Um, I think the second drill I'd have you do, you get you all set up here, right there, stick a T, the base right here, and stick that T right underneath here, almost underneath your hands. Okay? You won't have any problem with this T, Ryan, or this drill, Ryan, if you take your hands and your hands go forward this way as they go down. Okay? So forward and down. So this is called T under. Put that T right underneath your hands. And as long as your hands go the correct way, they go forward and down, you have no problem, you know, avoiding that uh, avoiding that T. And the last one I'll give you, and you're not really, I can't see home plate here, but it looks like it's right about here. And there's some place. Is to take a T and put it right here and raise it up a little bit. And force whoever's doing soft toss to you. Force him to throw pitches above this T and have you swing on the top of that T on top toss and still be able to produce line drives. I say you look like a great young hitter. Looks like you definitely have some instruction. Uh, keep working on your setup, your swing plane, your point of contact. Making sure you're using that back side of your lower half. Nice high finish above your shoulder, not around your body. And then do the dual T drill, the T under, and this last one's called T behind. Put the, the T behind home plate and make sure that you're swinging at, you know, with a downhill plane as you attack pitches. Okay, Ryan, thanks a lot, buddy. Have a great summer. Keep working hard, and we'll see you at the next ABC Baseball Camp. Thank you.